tea. Juice. And some toast. I'm not hungry. You lost your appetite. I can't imagine why. Hmm. Everything all right? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go shopping. Do what? For a cut. What? Put babies in them. I know back in your day you probably just stuck them in a drawer, but... I know what they are. How can you afford it? <laughs> Been moonlighting again, ain't you? No, actually. I'll walk around the market and see if they've got any cheap ones that I can just store up myself. Oh, I'll come with you, help me look. Come on, should you go the amp? I think so. Oh. You got a surprise. What sort of surprise? Well, if I told you, I wouldn't be one, would it? Go on, take a look. says cot on the side. That might be a clue. I know I said sorry, but actions speak louder than words. Stacy's gone to get some of those um, special key things. Alan? No, for me and I think. And uh, Mo's gone to get a hammer because we can't seem to find ours. And here's one of them back. So, this will be up in no time. goes there. So why don't it fit then? It will. It just needs fiddling with. No, it's upside down. No, it ain't. It says here a child of five could put this together. Lily! Right. So this is what you've been doing while I've been up to my armpits in Greece, yeah? It's uh, Hayley's new cot. <laughs> well, not Hayley's, the baby. <laughs> I think she knows that, Jean. Where'd you get the money for that? I didn't. Mum bought it. And where are you going to put it? Because you can't leave it there because it will just block out the telly. Oh, I'll go in my room. You'll never get it in there. Yes, we will. I'll move out. <laughs> I've thought it all through. Lily can move downstairs with Whiff and Tiff and Hayley and the baby can have my room. And where are you going to go, Jean? Oh, well, I just got on the sofa. It's going to look great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> no thanks to you, though. Okay. Well, you said it. Jean bought it and Nan and Stace are putting it together. Right, Nan reckons we're missing a bit, so we're going to go back down the shop and see if they've got it. Cat will come round. Mm. Mum said that yesterday. No, well, she's right. No skin off my nose anyway. It hurts her not seeing her kids no more. And it's, it's, it's no excuse. She shouldn't take it out on you, but... Sometimes I see her looking at my kids, and it's like she's miles away back with her own, and then the next thing you know, she's up out of the room saying there's something she's got to do, and I know she's having a little cry in the bathroom. She's really missing them then, yeah? Yeah. Like I said, she shouldn't take it out on you, but... Oh, will you calm down? Calm down? I should have loved that snotty little toe rag. What's the matter? Well, they said there's nothing missing. We had all the pieces. Well, if we had all the pieces, why weren't it fitting together? Oh! Hmm. Who done that? Lils. What I said on the box, find a child of five. Lily's eight. <laughs> Lily didn't do it. Hayley did it. You lot started it. I just finished it off. She didn't even look at the instructions either. I was watching her the whole time. It's done a lovely job. Baby's going to love it. Yeah, you've got a name for it. Maureen's got a nice ring to it. Oh, Jean's nicer. Hey, what about Stacey? It'd be good to keep it in the family. What are you saying? If it's a boy, then we've got to call it Charlie. No chance. Gary. Yeah, I met him once and all. Loser. How yeah. about Alfie? Alfie ain't a slater, is he? Oh, neither is Gary. I never said Gary, did I? Anyway, at least Alfie's still around. Sort of. Yeah, well, you know what him and Cat are like. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, well, plenty of time for picking names. Plenty of time. You thought you was going to drop yesterday. Oh, 
are you going? Oh, this isn't because of what Mo said. Hospital bag. Oh. I was going to go and put it in the cab. Don't want to be going through all that again, do we? No? No nappies, no feed. Just getting prepared. I'll cut me going on like a boy scout or something. Oh, and Jane. Thank you. Cut. Just a way of saying I'm sorry. You were trying to look out for me. I know. It was wrong. But I know you were trying to do right. Ain't fair on you, though. That ain't so bad. We won't believe her with him, though. Not once you're here. Not with this hanging over us. We can't. And you won't believe her with me, either. 